everyone, um, for my Christmas present this year from my mother-in-law. She got me a really cool um, electric lawnmower. It is called an Ego Power System, and it's a self-propelled 56-volt um, lawnmower. So I'm going to show you unboxing it and what I think of it. So this one has a 7.5 amp hour battery. There's also one that has a 5 amp hour battery, but it's not self-propelled. So this one will uh, use it to drive the ears to move forward as well, too. It has a 21 inch uh, cutting width. I got this at Home Depot. I want to say it's between five to six hundred dollars. I can't remember. Um, but uh, when I was at my brother-in-law's house, she had gotten him one of these, and we opened it up together, and it was so cool. She asked if I wanted one for Christmas. I said yes, please. And so she got it for me. So yeah. And here is the battery charger and the cord for it. I'll go ahead and plug it in now so we can get the battery going. It's supposed to charge in about 45 minutes to an hour, um, which is pretty fast considering. However, I don't really care about how fast it charges because usually you're going to do one pass and then uh, put it away for the night. Charger, and now we'll take the battery. Look at this thing, it's enormous. And it has a power button to turn the battery on when you're gonna use it. And then notice the uh, four connections are there. So we can slide it on. There it goes. It's at 25% right now. This thing is not level. Let me see on the cord. There we go. So we'll let this start charging while I open the rest of it. This looks like it's the breathing system for the collection bag. I like just to do the mulching just because uh, with the mulching it goes back into the, the ground. Uh, so put these here. Nice loop box. Here is the side shoot. So if you want to uh, shoot the uh, grass up the side, put that in the system. And here's the actual mower itself. Looks somewhat heavy, we'll see. I'm gonna just pull it out. Uh, one of the things I liked about this particular mower over other ones is it folds flat pretty well and you can also store it in a vertical position in the garage up against the wall or something like that. Uh, here's the blade down here, relatively sharp. Here's the uh, fan for keeping it cool. And now, let's see, how do I open it? Looks like this right here. Push to unlock. That's pretty handy. Okay, so I'll go over here. Okay, so this. Oh, here we go. I'll unpop these rails. Now you can put whatever size you want and lock it back in. Super handy. And then there are two. Um, Handles. This one is returning on the the, uh, the blade, and then here's your throttle for how fast you want to go uh, for the drive motor. And then this secondary handle is for turning on the drive motor itself. And then also you have this on-off button just to, to power up the unit itself. So let's take a look down here. Here's the back where all the uh, grass can shoot out if you want to use the bagging system. Again, I like to mulch personally. Uh, adjustable wheel size for how uh, high you want the, the cut. You know, really high. Probably start at like a three, see how that goes. Then here is the window showing you where the battery goes in. It'll drop in and then you can clip it on and clamp. Uh, and then when you turn on the power back here, you also have the ability to turn on headlights for night mowing, which 
I don't think anyone would ever want to do, but at the same time, kind of nice to have it there. So yeah, we'll give the batteries some time to charge up and we'll go ahead and uh, roll it up and see how it goes, but thanks for watching so far. You in the box, Emma. He wave? Say hi. So it's been about over a little over an hour. It stopped charging a while ago. That's at uh, full power now. I'm glad I read the manuals because there are three manuals, one for the actual rig, one for the battery, and one for the charger. And both the battery and the charger ones say, make sure to completely charge your battery 100% through the first time because that sets in its um, processor where the max charge is from then on. So I'm glad I did that instead of just pulling it off after a few minutes and trying it out. But now I'm gonna take this and um, pop it into the mower for the first time. As you can see, it's a bit later now. Which way is it? That way. Oops. Okay, so now it's in. Turn that on. And then there's a button here for headlights. Mm -hmm. Fancy. And now, okay, so you push this in and then pull up. So one of the things I liked about this particular model, there, I looked a few of them up online, but this one, even when your battery's out for spinning the motor for the uh, blades themselves, it'll just turn off the blades ahead of time and still gives you ample um, charge to get, uh, to like move it back to your house to get a recharge or whatever. Uh, so it works pretty darn well. I think the headlights are a bit ridiculous, but at the same time, uh, teach their own. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna start going with this, and, uh, been a lot of fun, so thanks for watching.